Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be doing a quick video. One of you guys actually suggested in the comment section that I go ahead and take the effluent line from my calcium reactor, which currently dumps here into the refugium, and then connect it somehow to the input of the uh, skimmer here uh, in an attempt to help elevate the pH. So as you guys know, I dump about six and a, uh, six and a half gallons per hour worth of effluent from the calcium reactor over here to the refugium. And regardless of adding the Avast Marine Calc Stir, my pH is just not budging. I'm not even getting close to 8.0. So we're gonna see if this works. Does uh, moving the fluid line over here, and I'll give it a few days. I know that I probably will upload this video uh, for this Sunday, so what is it today? It's Tuesday, so I'll let it run all the way until Saturday or Sunday morning, and we'll see the results. Now, uh, before we move over to um, connecting this somehow, I'm probably just gonna zip tie it. Let's go ahead and look at the current pH numbers and get a baseline. So, right now, again, we're at uh, 6.2 gallons per hour worth of effluent at um, 6.28 to 6.35 pH in the calcium reactor. Now, I do wanna mention, somebody also put in the comment section that this media, which by the way is, if I can find the container, I don't see anywhere, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, if I remember, and <laughs> no promises on that, um, that I should run the, the affluent or the pH a little bit lower. Uh, that's when it starts to work. Um, I will do a little bit more research, research before I take that entire reactor and dump the pH down uh, even more because you know I don't want to uh, uh, cause it to turn to mush. Oh, my camera is crooked, but yeah, well, that's going to have to do. Uh, but anyway, so this is our baseline. We're looking at uh, about a a low of uh, 7.69 and a max of 7.9. And the 7.9 is usually when I keep the back door open all day. Uh, so, I mean, that's kind of a baseline. So uh, let's go ahead and move over to getting this connected. And again, I think I'm just gonna take the line, run it over and zip tie it here to one of the inlets of the two pumps on this uh, reactor. Uh, or, yeah, is it a reactor? No, it's not a reactor. <laughs> uh, it's, I'm sorry guys, I was up to uh, 2.30 last night, almost three. Um, building printers. I added six more fully automated printers because, well, we got orders aren't going to print themselves. So I am exhausted and it's noon today already. So um, yeah, that's probably, that's why I sound like crap. Either way, <laughs> let's go ahead and move over and zip tie that and well, I'll see you in a few days. Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. Now it is currently Sunday afternoon about 12.30 and we're gonna see the results of connecting the output effluent line of the calcium reactor to the input of this NIOS Quantum 300 and we're gonna see if the actual pH has uh, increased. So let's go ahead and look. Dun, 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 dun. And uh, besides the camera getting messed up, yeah, it does work. Uh, you can see we started around, I think it was either 26th or the 27th, one of those days. Uh, you can see we dipped down to about 7.69 was the lowest, and a max of uh, 7.9 was the highest. And I've been pretty consistent with that. Uh, even with adding the calc, it increased a little bit, but not very much. And you can see right away, it, it bumped back up. So we were getting a low of about 7.8, uh, 7.80, or uh, yeah, 8 oh, yeah. And an increase of... Uh, 7.99 now i didn't get it i did not get over 8.0 but hey that's still pretty good right it's better than what i've been doing now there are um some questions that i have i guess or concerns now a couple of you guys have actually said this now nick one of my uh friends here locally said that um connecting the output of a calcium reactor to the input of a skimmer uh, due to the low ph going into that chamber there could be a chance that it, it could actually crack the chamber and destroy the skimmer now I haven't noticed anything. Now the only thing I've, I've done is broke off my drain line, which I got to reprint one of those. You know, just moving stuff around. But uh, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen any issues. I haven't taken the skimmer out to look, but it, it, I haven't heard anything or, or nothing seems to be obvious about that. Um, and uh, you know, even even with it being a larger skimmer, it might not happen just because there are two inputs there. There's two pumps. There's a ton of water going in there. Now I can see maybe being a smaller skimmer. 
and then having one input and then having really low effluent uh, pH going in there might cause it. I don't know. Either way, if you guys have heard this before or you have articles or you have proof or anything like that, feel free to email that stuff to me, fisheffects at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to look at it. I haven't got a chance to do any research. It's just uh, he said it and then somebody else brought it up as well. So uh, either way, it has not happened to me. So just keep that in mind if you do decide uh, to connect your calcium reactor. There, from what I've heard, there's a chance of it happening. So uh, either way, yeah, it works. Now in the future here, I do plan on making some additional changes after I get through cutting and healing a bunch of coral. I'm considering increasing the pH in the reactor, uh, keeping the flow the same, but just increasing the pH and then using the calc reactor that we added a couple weeks ago um, as my, I wouldn't say my primary source, but maybe 50-50, uh, uh, you know, source of calcium alkalinity, just because the calc reactor will increase the pH, okay? It just, it just does with calc. And then by increasing the pH here in the calcium reactor, that allows it to not be as low when it goes into the system, in turn, in elevating the pH altogether. Now, of course, I do have my skimmer plumbed outside, and I am, yes, guys, I am finishing up and building the carbon filter for the the uh, outside for the skimmer. I just uh, I have to fix the threads, and it's it's on my list. Trust me, I got a whole list of things <laughs> that I have to do for that. But either way, um, it is plumbed outside, so I am pulling in fresh air, so that also helps. But either way. Um, I'll consider doing that in the future. I'll let you guys know if I do, and then we'll uh, monitor the pH from there. But it, it just makes sense. If I increase the pH here, that means it's not going to be as low when it goes into the system. And then using the uh, calc reactor to uh, take care of a good chunk or at least 50% of my calcium alkalinity needs is, again, going to increase the pH. So either way, I'm happy with 8.0. Um, I mean, obviously, I would like it to be higher, and uh, we'll work on that in the future. But am I going to keep this here? Mm, yeah, why not? For now, if I find that my Chato growth is actually slower, because I do sell this stuff on the website, if it is, lo is slower than I want it to be, then I will um, bring the line back over here because that, that CO2 really does help with growing the Chato. So that was the reason why I dumped it in there in the first place. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. We did get some growth over here. Check this out before we go. Look at all this growth. It's so fast. I love it. So we'll be eating some of that very soon. Anyways. I'll give you guys a fish room update soon because I did add a bunch of printers, uh, or actually fully automated a bunch of these printers, and uh, it just, it's been a lot of work. It's been a very, very, very busy week, and of course, uh, coral orders are, uh, you know, popping. So, other than that, that's it for the video, guys. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you next week. All right, peace. Oh, before I forget, guys, I did move the live streams back to Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just easier for my schedule, and a lot of you guys agreed with that as well. So, that's it. Peace.